Hello, this is Mizo Tech TV, and today we are going to learn how to cut, copy, and paste. So let's do it. So let's start off with Windows 10 on how to cut, copy, and paste. If you have previous Windows as well, this is just a traditional thing. It's been going on for years, so it should be in Windows 7, Windows 8.1, Windows 8, and so on. What I did was is I opened up a website that I want to work with here and um, and I opened up WordPad. Some of you might want to open up Word or Notepad or any type of word processor on how we can do this example. Some of you may have some free word processing software that you have downloaded and some of you might have something from Microsoft. All right, so I have this website open. What I want to do is, uh, what I want to do is make both windows side by side be, so so it's easier to work with. I made a previous video about how to manage your windows environment. So if you want to take a look at that, that'll that that would be helpful as well. But what we want to do is right click on the taskbar because I want to be able to work with these windows just in a more organized fashion. And then we want to right click and then we have these options here. In between now from the bottom to the top it's about the fourth row up when these options um, start to uh, show here so we want to click show windows side by side so go ahead and click that now as you can see it puts it in an organized fashion so what I want to do is start with how to paste so Let's go ahead and hold down our left mouse button from the start of your article or whatever whatever uh, website you're on and you want to copy that material from it. So go ahead and uh, hold down the left mouse button and drag down. Like you, You'll see how you can control this here. You can start from anywhere as well. You could start where a period ends and you could just drag down. You could start anywhere. You can you can grab the bigger text. Um, so, but I, I would suggest starting off just uh, grabbing from the bottom, from the top to the bottom, and getting the uh, grab like a paragraph. And then once you highlight the that uh, that paragraph, don't let the button go yet. Once you highlight and you get what what you want to copy, um, just go ahead and let that button go, and then right click in the area where you highlighted at. So right click that and you'll have these you'll have these few options here. The only option that we want to click on is copy. So go ahead and click copy. Now go over to your word processing window. Like I said, you might have WordPad open, you might have Word open. Um, and go ahead and right click in that area and paste. Okay? Now there's two ways that we can cut that, that we can copy and paste. There's two ways. So the two the two ways that we can do it is the first one that we did is we highlighted the, the paragraph and we right clicked and then we copy. Okay, and then we paste the the um the paragraph here. I'm gonna paste it again just for an example. So I'm gonna right click and I'm going to paste. You see the paste? So right click and paste. So I paste that uh that paragraph again. You can also go over to where you highlighted the paragraph. You might have to highlight it again. You can hit Control C. Control C means copy. It's the bottom uh, right or bottom left key on your Windows on your um, typical keyboard. It's the bottom left key, and it's C T R L. And there's also a CTR key on the right side of the keyboard. It's next to the left arrow, and on the left side of it is another option that we'll cover in the future. But um, on the left side is the control, the function key is on the left, and the Windows key is on the right of it. So it's in between those keys. So you can hold down the control button, and then you can hit control C, and then you can go over here and hit control V okay 
So you wanna hit Control V. Control V copies that information and paste it. Control V, Control C copies the information and Control V pastes the information. Okay, so that's how you copy and paste. You can also cut the, the, uh, the, the text as well. So if you're working in word processor, I can't cut any information from a website because that website is embedded into the website and it's not my information to cut. But I can cut my information that I have here though. So say if I wanted to highlight everything here and I wanted to right click and you'll see there's a cut option. So let me go ahead and cut that text out of the document. And you could paste it wherever you want. You might have a two-page document and you want to take a sentence from the first page and put it on the third or a paragraph and you want to paste it where you want to paste it. So you just simply put your cursor where you want to paste this information. So I'm going to just write some gibberish here and I want to paste that information that I cut and I want to paste it here where my cur cursor is blinking. So hit control V or or you can right click right click on the mouse and paste okay now there's also another option with um to, to, to grab information uh, say if I wanted all the information on this page which this is going to look pretty crazy so let me let me just let it look uh, kind of readable here um, so the, the uh, and Microsoft Edge has a option to where you can switch back and forth to, if you're reading an article, to cut off all this gibberish over here, you can make it into a more readable document or a more readable article. So if you come all the way up to where the URL uh, is and where your left, your back button and your forward button and your refresh, so if you see my mouse here, just watch my mouse drag on over to this icon that looks like a book and it says reading view. Okay. So in this case, with this, uh, um, with this, uh, tutorial here, we're going to go ahead and click that so we can read this article better. You might be in an article where you, you know, there's a bunch of advertisements everywhere. We just want to see the actual article or or, or what, whatever they're, they're talking about as far as the news. Okay, so you can see that it made it a lot more readable. So what we want to do now is that we want to right click in a area where there's, where there's no text and then we're going to right click and we're going to select all. So once I select all, this option selects everything on the document. So I want to select all and I can either hit control C to copy it or I can right click and hit copy. So I want to right click and do copy and I want to bring it over to my word processor and I can either hit control V to paste or the easier way so you don't have to move from your mouse is to right click and paste. All right, you can see that it took all the text from the document and pasted it over, it pasted all the information over to my text document. Now I see it didn't grab the image here. It only grabbed by who, who the image, who contributed to the image. Let's see if we can grab that image though. Okay, let's see. So let, let, let me go ahead and right click this image and copy this image and see if I could paste it here. So hit Control V or right click and hit paste. So you could see here that it grabbed the image and pasted it in my document. So now I have the image, I have the whole article here. If the art, if this was, uh, if it pasted correctly, um, when I select all, we would have had the whole article here. But you know, you can go ahead and work with that. But this is just an example. I'm not saying a copy articles from other people's work and uh, put it this is uh, you might you may be working on a research paper but that is how you cut copy and paste 
And one more tip as well. If you look all the way up top, you'll see that Microsoft has a thing called the ribbon. And it has all the options you have up here. Um, this would be in your Word or your WordPad or any other Microsoft Office um, application. But they have buttons here where you can paste, cut, and copy. And select all is for some reason all the way over to the right side here. So instead of doing the um, keyboard option or the mouse short option, um, you can also click the buttons up top here in this area. So as you can see, there's a lot of options to do one thing. Um, there's always a couple of ways to do one thing. Okay, now that we covered Windows 10 on how to cut, copy, and paste and select all, let's cover the Mac OS. So right now, I have the same web page I had in the previous tutorial with Windows 10, and now I have the, the uh, pages open. Pages is um, the Mac, Apple's um, Apple's type of word processor. Um, so I opened up Pages, and I have, like I said, at the same website that I had previously. And now we're going to learn how to cut, copy, and paste, and select all in the Mac OS. Now let me show you guys a little trick so we can get our side-by-side -side window. So what you want to do is there's a green button next to the minimize button here. If you click that once, don't click it yet. If you click it once, then the whole window will expand the, the, the entire resolution of the, the entire screen. So we don't want that. We want to put each window side by side that we want to have, that we want to work with here. So it looks more organized. So here's a little trick. So what you want to do is click and hold that green button. So click, hold, and then you'll get to this window here. Don't let it go yet. It's asking us, well, what side do you want to put this, uh, this screen on, Safari? What, what side do you want to put Safari on here? So the side that we want to put it on is, I want to put it on my left. You might want to put it on your right. It's totally up to you. So once you let go, it fills that left side up. Now we want to grab, if you squeeze your mouse over, just go ahead and put it over to the left or right or wherever you put your, and go over to your pages where you have open, or you can have Notepad open or whatever other word processing application that you have open. You might even have Word installed on your Mac. So what you want to do is go in that, go in uh, the side of the application, and you can see that it has a blue lining on the outside of it. Go ahead and click that. So as you can see, it kind of organized it and made it so each page is equal to each other. So what we want to do now is start the copy and paste process. So just like in the first um, tutorial, you want to left click and scroll down. Okay, or not scroll down, but highlight the, the first paragraph or whatever uh, part of the text that you want to, to get here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just highlight the first paragraph, and then I'm going to right-click. Now, I have my mouse set up to right-click because I'm used to the Windows way of doing things sometimes. So I set my mouse up to right-click, and I have a copy option. I can go ahead and copy it and bring it over and right-click again and paste. Okay? Now, for some of you that are curious... Well, my right click is not working right now. Um, something's going on. You may have your settings on your mouse differently. And I'll show you how to change that right now. So what we want to do is bring up our task bar down bottom. My Apple calls it uh, something else. But um, we want to go where all our applications are. And then we want to go to our system preferences, which is way down the bottom. You may, you, you probably can't see it. With my um, the way I have mine. Let me enlarge this a little, little more so you can see it. But it says System Preferences. Go ahead and click that. And once you open the System Preferences, it'll bring up all these options. The only option that we want to look at is the second row. It starts off with CDs and DVDs, and go over to the fourth or fifth icon. I'm sorry, where it says Mouse. Click that, and then you'll 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 want to check secondary click so make sure that's checked 
and it's asking you to click on the right side or left. We want to select right side because that's what some of our Windows users are used to. If you're used to that, cool. If you um, know, uh, if you're if you're used to, um, like I said, if you're used to the Mac OS way of doing things, do that. If you're used to the right clicking, go ahead and click that and then go ahead and exit out and you should have your right click feature there on your mouse. I hope that that helps because I know in the beginning when I started with the Mac OS, that was very, uh, that was a burden on me for a second. So let's go ahead and go back to what we were working on here. All right. So you can either click on pages or you can click on Safari down bottom to bring your screen back to the way it was to where we were working. So go ahead and try that again. So go ahead and highlight the paragraph that you want to highlight and right click, copy and paste. All right. It's missing an end here. Uh, I didn't grab that. So now just like in Windows 10, there's shortcut keys. But we're only going to cover about two of them. So the shortcut key to copy in the Mac OS is the command key, not the control key. It's command C. So it's command C to copy and control V to paste. So if you want to try that, you can. You can hit control V to paste what you, what you copy. And then you can go over and practice as well and hit control C to copy. All right. So now let's see if we can select all the information from the document. Now on Windows 10 it gave me the option to grab the whole the, to put the site in a more readable form but Safari for some reason doesn't give me this option which I'll cover that in another episode but it doesn't give me the option up here usually there's like a lines of uh, just a, a few lines telling me that I can turn this document into a readable document. So let's see if we could just mess around and, and then select all, okay? So what we want to do is, uh, actually, we don't want to right click. We want to go all the way up to the, um, the taskbar here and make sure you're in Safari and go to edit. And then there's a select all. And it's also control A. So once you go to these different options, there's always a shortcut key to something. Um, not everything. But there's always a short key, key to what you click on. So you can see the select all option. There's a command A shortcut key. So let's go ahead and select all that text. And it doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it select all the text. Maybe it's because there's a lot of video and stuff on here. But for the most part, usually. We did the select all in the, the, the Windows 10. There's a lot of stuff on this site for us to select all. So uh, Safari is, they don't know that they need to just select the text. If I select all this stuff, it'll just look crazy. So let's, let's do this. Let's go ahead and highlight all this information down here. I'm going to start from the bottom to the top. I'm gonna highlight everything. So just once you just drag your mouse up, or if you're starting from the bottom, drag your mouse down, and then right click and then copy, and then either hit con Command V or uh, right click and paste. I'm gonna go ahead and right click into into pages here, okay? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna paste the information. So as you can see, it pasted everything, and that's it for today. If you liked the video, please comment and subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you. Peace.